Hey, Dr. Phil, proven strategies for fighting your worst fears. NCIS tonight on CBS. No, 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 no. No, I'm out of here. Give him to Dallas. He said to tell you he's completely backed up. <sighs> Fine. I'll read him in the car on my way over and have a terrible accident. Hey, I hear Snyder finally nailed that perp we've been after. Too bad he left, huh? Yeah, too bad he left. Tell Dallas I want to review these when I get back. Oh, there you are again. Hi, Margo. Hi. Listen, if you want to review more statistics, I don't have the staff to set you up. I so. actually, that job's over. Oh, great, good. I'm here about the profiling position. Um, I've been through all the preliminary interviews, so I've got clearance. Good for you. I'm just waiting for your approval for the hire. You need my approval? I mean, can't Auntie M call another favor up from the mayor? You know, that was not my idea. Really? I'm just asking for a chance here. Uh-huh. Good luck with that. Real estate section. Don't tell me you want to do a piece on real estate scam. It's not a bad idea. But what I am doing is looking for a new place to live. Oh, you want to give up that room service? I mean, that's the thing I really miss about staying at the Lakeview. Yeah, I will miss it too, but I'd rather live in a place where any nut job can't get access to my room. Don't tell me the evil toy maker is back. No, and I hope he doesn't come back. But he's not the nut job I'm talking about. Oh, God, finally, we have been calling and calling. I know, I'm so sorry I couldn't call you back. Are you all right? Yeah, I would be if Spencer didn't find you two making out in her bed. She didn't suspect anything, did she? Oh, yeah. I told you we should have been naked to make it look more believable. Listen, you two, I understand and appreciate that you're just trying to protect me, but I really think it's time to let this whole conspiracy no, go. No, 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 we can't. Letting our guard down now can be deadly with a woman like this. We really don't have any reason to believe that Spencer is anything but the sweet girl she seems to be. Oh, sweet girl. She poisoned your food. It could have just been bad chicken. Oh, and then why didn't Brad and her get sick? You know, if, if Katie wants us to let it go, maybe we should honor her request. How can we after what we found under the bed? What? Well, that's why we were calling you. We got so nervous when you didn't... Tell me what you found already. A suitcase under sweet Spencer's bed. It was locked. And very heavy. What am I missing here? Well, isn't it obvious the girl is dangerous? And if you're not careful, you can be her next victim. You have every right to be upset. Your friends were making out on my bed like a couple of 10th graders. Well, with Henry and Vienna, you're lucky that's all they were doing. You know, the thing is, I don't really think it was a mistake they wound up in my room. Why not? Well, there were a few things out of place when I left, like someone had been snooping. Do you think they were trying to find dirt on me or something? Okay, this is really embarrassing. What? You're not wrong to think they were checking you out. Oh, my God, did you know? No, 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 I didn't. I didn't have anything to do with them being in your room. Neither did Katie, but I, I, I know why they were there care to share okay i'm gonna say this fast uh henry and vienna they think you have a thing for me like a crush no that's it's you know it's more serious than that should have gone after the bad guy. You could have gotten yourself killed. Well, somebody had to make that pump pay for it, did you? I know, and I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And I have spent the whole morning thinking about how I can thank you. Oh, really? Forget it. What? Forget the surprise. Surprise? Mm-hmm. 
Come here. <laughs> Sit down, wet guy, and I'll show you. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. I'm <laughs> what are you doing? Hey. Not, it's a bad time. No, okay, so no, not at all. Hey. Come in. Obviously, uh, it's not too busy downtown. i social visits in the middle of the day. Jack, this is not a social call. You heard. How wouldn't I? What are you thinking going after thugs like that on your okay, own? all right, go on. Tell me, tell me how much trouble I'm in. Oh, no, you're not. What could possibly be under Spencer's bed that would have anything to do with me? Maybe the poison she put in your Chinese food, and the next time she wants to take your place next to your husband on Oakdale now. I don't believe that she poisoned my food. Well, you, you did the last time we talked. I changed my mind. Or someone changed it for you. Weren't you the one who was saying this was a little far-fetched? Yeah, I did. And now you're not saying anything? Did the suitcase change your mind, too? It's, it's, it's very hard to laugh in the face of Vienna's certainty. And I, I think, considering how this young woman so suddenly and completely infiltrated your life and Brad's, it would be prudent to dig a little deeper into who Spencer McKay really is. Mm-hmm. How deep? We go back to the hotel, we break the lock off that suitcase, and we find out what's in that sucker. As the World Turns is sponsored by Detrol L.A. The doctor will be just a few minutes. Okay. Uh-oh, here she comes again. I know you're here for a checkup, but maybe you should tell them about that bladder control problem. <laughs> What bladder control problem? Well, you've already made a couple of trips. That last one nearly knocked me off the door. Sorry. You need to have the Detrol discussion with the doctor. Detrol? Detrol LA. It's the number one prescribed brand to help calm that... I gotta go feeling. Just one pill works all day and all night. Barbara? And tell him how you feel. Like my bladder's running my life. If you've certain stomach problems, glaucoma, or trouble getting urine to pass, you shouldn't take Detrol LA. The most common side effects are dry mouth, headache, constipation and abdominal pain ask your doctor if detrol la is right for you so barbara have you been she wants to have i want to have the detrol discussion glad i could help wait till you see how we've taken veggies and served them up in a new way introducing v8 soups from campbell's a full serving of vegetables in a soup so velvety and delicious you won't be able to contain yourself new campbell's v8 soups it's the Rose Petal Cottage. Come on in. A place of her very own. Buy my muffin. This can go here. This goes here. Let's do laundry. Ta -da. It's her place where her dreams have room to grow. The Rose Petal Cottage. Salon-inspired lash extensions with a mascara? Introducing L'Oreal's new Double Extend Beauty Tubes Mascara. It extends beyond the tips of lashes, forming tubes like lash extensions to 80% longer. Tubes last all day. Come off clean. New Double Extend Beauty Tubes by L'Oreal. Because a bathroom can be more than just a bathroom. Clorox helps keep it clean, even the imaginary parts. Hi, Jay Bush and Duke here. When it's cold out, you crave chili. But sometimes you don't get chili. So we made the chili changer. Sandwich? On a cold day? Bush's chili. That's what I was craving. Another frozen meal. Bush's chili. That'll warm me up. We slow cook it with premium ingredients for a taste that's closest to homemade. In fact, people preferred Bush's chili to the leading brand. Chili dog. Funny Jay. Chili weather? Chili cravings? Get Bush's chili. It's time to rock again. ACDC presents Black Ice, their first new album in eight years. Only eleven eighty eight. only at Walmart. Save money, live better. Walmart. Throughout the years, she thought there was no solution for her dry, itchy skin. And one day, there was. With natural oils that soothe and relieve itchy skin, new Eucerin Calming Body Wash brings calming one step sooner. Compare each candidate's plan for helping American workers tonight on the CBS Evening News. It's a killer body of work. You do paint dead people. Where art imitates death. A 
That's pretty weird. Even for Vegas, all you see is I CBS Thursday. Brad thinks I came here to tell you guys to cool it. If I give you the okay to go back there, it's like I'm betraying him. Okay, so just wait around until she tries to do you in again. I wish you would stop implying that Spencer wants me dead. We can't scare her into going along with this. We can do whatever it takes. And Brad, he will be grateful when we prove that we were right about Spencer. And really angry if we turn out to be wrong. Yeah, but we won't. Listen, um, if you want us to stop, We'll stop, okay? The last thing we want to do is come between you and Brad. Oh, Spencer's already done that. You just say the word and we will honor it. Yes or no, it's it's your call. <laughs> no, I don't understand. I don't understand why that's why that's so funny. I just just the thought of you and me. It's just well, why is that so impossible to picture, you know, a girl like you being into a guy like me? I just never really thought about it. Why does that feel like an insult? <laughs> You're also married. Yeah, but I'm not dead. But, you know, you're starting to make me feel pretty close. I don't mean to. And I, I think it was pretty sweet, your friends being so overprotective, if it wasn't completely insane. Well, why is it insane to think that, a, you know, a woman other than my wife would be interested in me? Uh, insane that anything could come between you and your wife. You and Kitty, you're like the perfect couple on set and off. Well, I mean, nobody's perfect, but... No, I am totally in awe of the both of you and what you have together. I could never come in between something like that. I mean, not that I could. Afrikati, there's no way you'd be ever interested in someone like me. How do you do that? What? Sell yourself short. Just, just being realistic. Spencer, you're a triple threat. You're smart, you're pretty, you're talented. I mean, that's why the audience glommed onto you so fast. You really think that? Absolutely. Any guy would be lucky to get you. You have no idea how much it means to know that you guys care. Of course we care. Still, asking you to break into Spencer's room is just not something I can do, especially since I just promised Brad that it would never happen again. We understand. Speak for yourself. Then again, you are both adults capable of making your own choices. I can only tell you what I don't want you to do. Whether you do it or not is entirely up to you. I think we can take that as a yes. I'm gonna go check my messages. Let's cut to the chase, okay? I know I was out of line to act like I was still a cop. But you are still a cop. No. That's the point, Jack. I mean, you don't have to be on the force. You can't help it yourself. Doesn't give me the right to act like a cowboy whenever I see fit. Well, no, no, you gotta dress up, you know. Yeah. But listen, listen. When I accepted your resignation, I lost the best detective I have. I've regretted it ever since. I assume you have too. Marco. What? I can't undo what I've done. You can learn from it and move on. What do you think I'm doing here? What, by working for Paul Ryan for going after low lifes and, and almost getting yourself killed because you didn't have backup? Why are you here? <sighs> because I want you to admit that you want to come back as much as I want to come back. I just to told back. you, Margo, that I can't do that. And I'm telling you that you can, and I outrank you, so my say-so is more important. You're serious. I am dead serious, Jack. You come back, you get the same pay, the same benefits, the same desk. No, 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 no. Don't, don't say anything. Just think about it and call me with your yes answer. Oh, and Jack, um, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that I don't need you back. I do. But if you say no again, I won't be coming back.
For years, low-dose aspirin has been a cornerstone of heart attack prevention. Today, there's Bayer with Heart Advantage. Ask your doctor about the only low-dose aspirin product that helps lower the risk of heart attack and lowers cholesterol. Be sure to talk to your doctor before you begin or modify an aspirin regimen. Well, mama, don't you make me another meatloaf. Forget the mac and cheese. I want some fun piled on a bun. I want a man which please. Make tonight a man which night. I want a man which please. You moisturize everywhere else. Why not your scalp? Give it the respect it deserves with advanced head and shoulders conditioners. Its targeted moisturizers start at the scalp to nourish hair, leaving it softer, silkier, and 100% flake free. Advanced head and shoulders conditioners. Respect the scalp, love the hair. Phil writes, when my wife was pregnant, she actually had cravings for the scent of gain detergent. I'm just wondering, how long are these cravings supposed to last? Ah, the great scent of gain. The cravings are just the beginning. Gain. Sniff, sniff. Hooray. The Mr. Clean Magic Eraser powers through three times the grime. And sticky mess per swipe, Mr. Clean, Mr. which might mean triple the time to relax, or maybe not. The Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. No one likes a bath tissue that leaves pieces behind. That's why they're Charmin Ultra Strong. With its diamond weave texture, it leaves fewer pieces behind. Because it's soft and more durable, so it holds up better than the Ultra Rippled brand. Charmin Ultra Strong. There's something fresh in the air. Febreze candles burn slowly, infusing the air with scents that are simply irresistible. So irresistible, you just can't keep them to yourself. <sighs> Febreze candles. With seven fresh scents that burn for up to 30 hours, it's a breath of fresh air. faster or longer to relieve your worst allergy symptoms, including congestion, without drowsiness. Get Claritin D at the pharmacy counter. Live Claritin clear! So, what did Margot have to say? Like you don't know. <laughs> okay. I, I, I did overhear a teensy-weensy little bit, but I swear I did not call her this time. Oh, I had I nothing to... I know, I know. Okay. I know. Good. But she's right, you know. It's in your blood. Yeah, I felt it when I went after that mugger. But is, is, is that supposed to mean that, that, that I should go back? That I, that I can go back? Hey, maybe you should stop focusing on reasons why you shouldn't go back and think about why you wanted to be a cop in the first place. Well, no, I know. I know that. When I was a kid, I watched my mother do some things that just didn't make sense, things that she knew were wrong. And my, my family ultimately had to pay the price for it. But I knew I couldn't fix my family. I mean, I was just a kid. All I could do is hope that one day I, I was in a position where I could help people in the same situation. I know it sounds pretty idealistic. Are you kidding me? Come on. You did it. You found a way to make the world a little less nuts. Me included. Listen, I think that you were meant to be a cop. But that's just my opinion, okay? Whatever you decide to do, I will stand by you 100%. Thanks. Ah, for what? For making my world a little less nuts. Come on. Where are we going? You'll find out. Oh, no, 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 I can't, I can't leave, I'm no, not you dressed great. Are you kidding me? Come on, I need you with me on this. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that is the part that 
always trips me out. Try it again. Okay, 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 okay. But no laughing. No laughing. <laughs> you two look like you're having fun. Oh, don't yeah. tell your friends. They might think they're right about me. Uh, you know, I kind of told her that Henry and me, and I think that she's got a thing for me. Was that really necessary? Hey, I'm glad. Brad and I are partners. I'd hate to think of you sitting on something like that. Of course. Right. The whole idea of me going after him is totally crazy. Of course. And now I feel even worse thinking that you were a part of whatever those two were trying to pull. It's not your style, and I am so sorry I accused you of it. Katie just actually, she just came from talking with Henry to Vienna, and she told them to back off where you're concerned. Right, Katie? Right. So they won't be in my shower when I get home this evening? <laughs> I can honestly say that after our discussion, Henry and Vienna will think twice about going anywhere near your room. Good. Because I am exhausted, so if we are done for the day, I'm going to go back to my hotel room. No, you can't. He couldn't get it the first time. I don't know why you think he'll get it this time. Almost there. Uh, yeah, almost. Uh, it won't count if it gets caught. Well, after you. I love it when you prove me wrong. <gasps> well, I love it later. We've got to open that suitcase before Spencer gets back. Mm -hmm. Why can't I go back to my room? Yeah, why? Well, you can, of course, but I, we, Brad and I, were hoping we could take you out to lunch. Yeah. We were? Yes, we were, remember? We wanted to do something nice for Spencer to show her our appreciation for filling in for me when I was sick. And we'd like to make up for our crazy friends. <laughs> I mean, it was kinda, it's kind of early for lunch. I'm still kind of full from breakfast. Why don't we just let her go back, catch some Z's, and we'll meet up with her later? Yeah, I think I might feel better after I get a little sleep. You'll sleep better after you eat. And since when did you turn down food for any reason? I'm um, just saying, yeah. Come on, guys. We'll beat the lunch rush. What do you say? Are you sure this is where you want to have lunch? Don't you like the Lakeview? Love it. I just thought that maybe, you know, there's so many new restaurants. Yeah, what were you thinking, Katie? I don't know. Chicago, maybe? You okay? Yeah, all of a sudden I'm feeling a little dizzy. I hope I didn't catch that bug you got. Oh, I doubt it. Well, why don't you go upstairs and lie down? No, that's yeah. the last thing you need to do. You do tea, you herbal tea with lemon. I'm gonna get you some tea. That is exactly what you need. You'll feel so much better. Okay, well, either way, I need to go to the ladies' room. Do you need company? I'm a big girl. Wow, talk about 180. You go from not wanting to have anything to do with the girl to not letting her out of your sight. What's up with that? I'll explain later. What is there to explain? Huh? Great. You still don't trust her, do you? I, I, don't, I don't believe this. Hey, I am trying, okay? Who's the one who asked her to lunch? So you can keep an eye on her. Did you even talk to Henry in Vienna, or are you pretending that too? Yes, I talked to them. Did you tell them to leave Spencer alone? That, that is why I went there, isn't it? Do they believe you? They heard every word I said. But you still can't let it go. I am just trying to be cautious for there both our sakes. There is nothing to be cautious about, okay? Spencer has made it perfectly clear that she is not interested in me. How do you know she didn't just say that to throw us off the track? <laughs> Look at me. Listen, okay? Even if Spencer was interested in me, which she's not, it wouldn't matter. I love you. You're my wife. And I would never do anything to mess up what we have. I don't want to mess it up either. Then will you please, please let this go? Okay. Spencer's been in that ladies' room for a really long time. <sighs> I'm just saying it out of concern. <sighs> okay. If she really did catch what I had, then she needs help. Okay, okay, fine. Go, I'll order. Hurry up. Okay, I will. But if I break it, she will know that someone was messing with it, yes? Hey. Oh, God. Oh, it's Katie. Katie, what is the 
surprise. I called the diner and you weren't there. No, we're in Spencer's room. Don't tell me about it. I don't want to hear about it. Just, you should know, wherever you are, that Brad and I are at the Lakeview having lunch with Spencer. She's downstairs having lunch with Spencer. Uh, well, tell her to stay there and not let Spencer up. I'm trying to keep her down here, but she keeps saying that she doesn't feel well. She wants to go to her room and rest. Oh, that little faker. She probably just wants to get up to her precious little suitcase and make sure it's safe. I'm just saying, whatever you're doing, do it fast because she's in the ladies' room right now. Okay. okay. What? My hand pick slipped. Oh, for heaven's sake. Let me try it. No, I, I told you, sweetheart, it's a very sophisticated thing. Only an expert can actually handle this thing. You don't know what you're doing. Huh. Oh, my God. Holy moly. What is it? You won't believe this, Bubbles. Drugs? No, it's... It's money. It's lots and lots of money. No way! No... way. Hi, I'm Marie Osmond, and I'm losing it. Pounds. <laughs> I thought I'd never get back into these jeans. 40 pounds, gone. You can make it happen, too. Now you can do what Marie did and lose weight on Nutrisystem. There's no counting, no measuring, ever. So easy. Just eat and eat. Mm, now this, I can handle. Nutrisystem will help you change your life. Just order Nutrisystem Advance today to get four weeks of delicious meals and discover how you can get one extra week absolutely free. The foods are great. Pizza, pasta, burgers, even chocolate. For less than $3 a meal, you can start getting real results and love the way you look. I feel 20 years younger. Get up, try Nutrisystem. It worked for me, and it will work for you. Call now, 888-721-THIN, to find out how you can get one extra week of food absolutely free. Want to see something amazing? Here's a mildew remover that sticks. Comet Spray Gel. Unlike ordinary sprays that run, Comet Spray Gel sticks to mildew, so its bleaching power stays concentrated. Comet Spray Gel. Stick it to mildew. <laughs> Thanks, Glade. Yoga time! Oh, oh, it's right it smells so fresh in here. Oh, yeah? You like it? It's just some boutique fragrance I discovered. It helps me plug into my karma. Plug into your karma? More like Glade plug-ins. <laughs> now experience the freshest Glade fragrances ever, infused with essential oils like boutique fragrances. And yes, it's Glade. For smaller spaces, get Glade plug-ins gel. S.C. Johnson, a family company. Long walks outside? Yeah. Age spots? Uh, no thanks. Now there's L'Oreal's new Age Perfect Radiance Perfector. The anti-age spot moisturizer with pure vitamin C that treats age spots. For radiant skin today. New Age Perfect Radiance Perfector by L'Oreal. This is our last chance to do something together. I'm in. This Friday, Disney has done it again. High School Musical 3 is the biggest and best of the series. It's the feel great film of the year. Fabulous. High School Musical 3. Rated G. Friday. Bring happy hour home with new Pillsbury Savorings appetizers. Hey. Hey. Warm, flaky, with savory fillings. Do you come here often? I live here. I thought you looked familiar. New Savorings from Pillsbury. Welcome to Crest Cottages. Guests check in. Hey! But they never check out. We only have until tonight to find them. New criminal minds. Then she never complains. Even when you're bad. It's just a doll. We just found our witness. I sound realistic. Can I touch her? Adam. New CSI New York CBS Wednesday. See why critics say the new series 11th Hour will keep you guessing until the very last second. New episode CBS Thursday. Irresponsibility on Wall Street put our economy at risk, and Washington just keeps bickering. I know people are worried, but if we take decisive action, keep taxes low, and focus on creating jobs, we'll pull through this together, just like we always have. Bill Foster, praised as effective, putting the taxpayer's interest above all else. Congress needs more leaders like Bill Foster. I'm Bill Foster, and I approve this message. 
Concrete's a dirty business, especially for Marty Ozinga. Republican Ozinga and his companies gave 23 grand to Rod Blagojevich, and Ozinga's concrete firms dodged rules to win millions in government contracts. So how did Ozinga say thank you? His companies racked up 51 grand in unpaid taxes. Whether you're a Democrat or Republican, Marty Ozinga's the last guy you'd send to clean up Washington. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee is responsible for the content of this advertising. Who used drugs at the party? Uh, I don't know. Some people were smoking some pot. When you saw that they were doing drugs in your home, did you call the police? No, I made a mistake. Hmm? I should have. I made a mistake. Next Judge Judy. Today at 3 on CBS 2 HD. Megastar Glenn Close. Next, Rachel Ray. Simon Baker stars in The Mentalist tonight on CBS. It's no joke, Katie. This suitcase is filled to the brim with crisp, clean, glorious $100 bills. Oh, whatever shall we do with all this money? Just clean it up, okay? Clean it? I want to bathe in it. And make sure you do it fast before the stain sets. Stains? Then leave everything nice and neat, just the way you found it, okay? Hazel? Hazel? Oh, you're not alone. No, not at all. Um, thank you for taking care of that. Mm. Oh, hello, lover. Oh, yeah. No, no, come on. Oh, you killed Joy. It's a short elevator ride from the launch. We've got to get out of here before that horrible woman catches us again. Couldn't I just take a sack or two just as a souvenir for the time that we spent together, please? No. I thought you were going to check on Spencer in the ladies' room. I was, but Hazel called. Hazel? Our housekeeper. He doesn't pay attention to anything domestic, as long as there's food in the fridge. Oh, so, I mean, so what did, what did Hazel want? Oh, she spilled something on the carpet and just didn't want the stain to stain. What are you guys doing here? They're gonna think we don't want our table. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna have to take a rain check on this lunch. Oh, what about your herbal tea? Katie, she wants to go lie down. I think we should let her. I'm sorry to be such a downer. No, no, you're not. Don't, don't even worry about that. I don't want to be too wiped out for this big show we have tomorrow. Right, of course you don't. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Thanks for being so great. Anytime. See ya. Well, yes, there's no point in having lunch now. I'll meet you at the studio. You know, Katie, I may not pay attention to anything domestic, but I think I would know if we had a woman working in our house, especially one named Hazel. So why don't you tell me what you and Hazel, the housekeeper, have been up to? Janet, we don't stand on ceremony. Can you take your coat off? Oh no, no, I'm okay. Um, actually, Jack, maybe I should bring it out. Uh, no, I, I want you. I want you to hear me say yes. Yes. The answer is yes. I'm accepting your offer. Oh, Jack, you made my whole year. You're cutting year. me a big break with this deal, especially after everything I've done. Uh, I don't I, think you're going to be. I will not forget. No, it. you're not going to say that when you see the pile of cases on your desk. I'm not going to let you down again, boss. I expect the best out of you, detective. It's good to hear. It feels good to say it. Listen, I really wish I could buy you lunch and celebrate, but I got a meeting with the mayor. Oh, uh, no worries. Hey, well, I forgot to ask. When can I expect you back? Tomorrow, too soon? Sooner the better. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Oh, I know. Oh, without you. Hey, hey, come on. Let's go celebrate. Oh. Hmm? Anything you like. Wow, what I'd like is my surprise. And they just they just ignored you. Okay, I could have been okay, a little so, more so convincing. Who, who was out on the phone? Was it Henry? And they were what? They were, they were up in Spencer's room again. Yes. I listen. can't believe we talked about this. You didn't even try to stop them. I would have, but then they told me what they found in her room. Was it was it a picture of your face as a, as a, as a target? No. Then I don't want to know. It was a locked suitcase filled with hundred dollar bills. Seriously? 
Seriously. Well, if it's locked, how do they... So they broke into her room and her, and, and her luggage. It, that's not the point. <laughs> the hell it isn't. Would you forget about Henry and Vienna for just a second and ask yourself why a smart girl like Spencer would keep a suitcase full of money under her bed instead of, say, I don't know, a bank or maybe the hotel safe? So, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's none of our business. It is if we lose everything, if you lose everything, because you refuse to, to question someone you don't even know. You don't even know her. Neither did Henry and Vienna. That... That is true, and I hope we're wrong. But don't we owe it to ourselves to find out what's behind that money? Okay, short of breaking into a room, how are we going to do that? I'll go to Margo. I'll tell her everything and see what she can do. Spencer is my partner. I'm, you know, you want me to stick the cops on her? You're supposed to be my partner, too. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Fine. You won't go to the cops with me? I'll go along. Lieutenant Hughes? Oh, I don't... Please, I'm her sister. Um, the chief set a meeting with the mayor. Okay, can you help me? No, I don't. I'm really desperate. Um, yeah, what the hell? I'll give it a shot. Okay, great. Yeah, here, just... Here we go. Okay, I'm having a, a problem with somebody that my husband and I work with. Okay, um, does this somebody have a name? Spencer McKay. Oh, she's doing that new show. You're married to her co-host, right? Well, he's my co-host, too. And yes, I'm married to him. Okay. What's the problem? Well, some of my friends were a little suspicious about what Spencer was really up to, so they thought they might be able to find out a little bit more about her if they got mm -hmm. into her room at the Lakeview and looked around a little bit. Was Miss McKay aware that they were in her room? No. Okay, so we're talking breaking and entering. No, no, no. This is not about what they did. It's about what they found. Which was... A locked suitcase full of cash. I want you to find out what Spencer's doing with all that money. Why do you need to know this? I'm concerned about my husband's association with her, especially if she's involved in something shady. I will see what I can find out for you. Great. Okay. But hey, I'll put in a good word for you with my sister. Oh, no. No, you really, you don't need to do that. Seriously. Don't. What? Oh, nothing. I just... I keep thinking about what you're not wearing under that coat. Uh, come on. <laughs> come, let's go home, please. Home? Where? Yeah. Where? Uh, Where? It's a farm. Right. With Emma and Meg and oh, Luke and Noah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> what about your place? Um, you mean Brad, Katie, and Liberty's place? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah, yeah. Like view. I got a better idea. Okay, please don't say your car. Please don't. Because when we were kids, it was really fun, no. but at our age, no. not so much anymore. Shh. I was thinking. I was thinking of our own place. You're kidding. No. No, it's not like we hadn't talked about it before. I mean, come on, Janet, what do you say? You want to live together? Could turn anyone into an artist. Island? Yeah, yeah. You've got 30 seconds. Hawaii. Cool yeah. 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 Then it's on to the next team. Ice cubes? Yeah. Huh? Catch. Cold. Catch a cold? Yes. <laughs> there are over 2,000 clues and endless good times. It's Pictionary Man game. What are you making? Condensed soup? The kids are gone. We're moving on. Now we can eat a better tasting soup for grown-ups. The great taste of Progresso is preferred three to one over Campbell's Condensed. This tastes way better. Progresso, what a soup should be. We're looking for everyone who hasn't tried Honey Bunches of Oats. Would you like to try some? It's great. This is very good. It's in this stuff. It's the perfect combination of crispy flakes, crunchy oat clusters, and just a touch of honey in every spoonful. One spoonful is all it takes! Sinus pressure, nasal congestion, pain. You can suffer through them, or you can power through them with Advil Cold and Sinus. The power of Advil, plus a strong decongestant you can get at the pharmacy counter. Power through your sinus symptoms with Advil Cold and Sinus. 
Sometimes you want lips to look natural, healthy, and smooth. Sometimes you want a radiant shine. Introducing Chapstick True Shimmer. Moisturizers and shimmering highlights for a beautiful, healthy-looking shine. Never let your lips go naked. Always wear Chapstick. Hey, guys. Here's my number one tip for fall. Don't miss the Macy's Men's Wardrobe Sale. You'll save 30 to 50% on clothes for work or weekends. Designer suits, sport coats, and pants. Plus save on shirts, ties, and shoes. Save 30 to 50%. You can print a savings pass at Macy's.com and save an extra 20%. My advice, if you want to look great this fall, head on over to the Macy's Men's Wardrobe Sale. When you're on treatment for rheumatoid arthritis, everyday things can still be tough to handle. Can you open this? Pull this? Grasp this? Oh, yes, I can. What about you? If you think your treatment isn't helping enough, ask your rheumatologist about Arencia. It's an RA treatment that's proven to make a difference for many patients, including those who weren't helped enough by other treatments, relieving the symptoms of RA and controlling the advance of joint damage. Do not take Orencia with another biologic medicine for RA due to an increased risk of serious infection. Orencia can cause serious side effects, including serious infections. Certain cancers have been reported. Tell your doctor if you are prone to or have any infection like an open sore or the flu. If you have a history of COPD, a chronic lung disease, Orencia may worsen your COPD. Tell your doctor about the challenges you face every day with RA. Ask about Orencia and see if you could be saying, oh, yes, I can. One murder suspect. Hell! Two agencies. It's the FBI versus NCIS. What is it you're hoping to find? The truth. New NCIS. Then, has this investigator met his match? Will you hold me? You're not soft on her, are you? It's not going to affect my work. I'm a law enforcement professional. A new mentalist after NCIS tonight. I gave A's the idol. What? Is this the biggest wonder in Survivor history? Trust me. Plus, two of the most extreme challenges ever. New Survivor, CBS Thursday. You don't want to live with me? Oh, I do. Okay, what, 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 you're the one who said we should take it slow, right? Well, yeah, I did. Right, but, I mean, it, we're going to be together all the time anyway. Why not make it convenient? Right. Mm -hmm. Isn't and that's a bad thing? Um, for you, no, not so bad. But when you decide things are over with us, for me, bad. Oh, maybe I won't decide. Maybe. Bad. No, maybe. come on. No, stop. Janet, tell me. Tell me what you need. What, what would make it easier for you? Okay. True. Please. I want the fairy tale. I want the home, the husband, and a life. That's not just about me being a single mom. I want a guy who I think is Mr. Right to be Mr. Right for more than just a month. I thought I gave up on that happily ever after thing. I thought that just having liberty in my life was enough. But it's not. Not anymore. Dad, I don't, I really don't know. I don't know where this is headed. All I know is that I want you with me now. Until you and Carly find your way back to that each is other. That's not going to happen. It almost did. No, but I thought of you and that saved me. I don't want to save you, Jack. I want to love you. And I want you to love me the way I deserve to be loved. I've done temporary. And it was horrible. For me and for Liberty. Hey, I'm not like those other guys. I know you're not. You're better. Which is why that makes it so much harder for me to, to, to turn you down. Why do you have to pick now of all times to, to stand your ground? Well, don't you think this is as good a time as any? You, uh, hey, you've only got yourself to blame. <laughs> really? What would I do? You made me see I was worth more. And you were right. I'm not trying to pressure you or anything. It's just that I want it all. The whole shebang. And I won't settle for less. It's done. What's done? I went to the police. I cannot believe you really went ahead with this. I cannot believe you didn't go with me. Because it's totally insane, Katie. We'll see. You know what? I 
love you, but you're really starting to scare me. I mean, you're, I'm, uh, you're supposed to be the one that's adult, not me. What? No, no, no. What are you doing? Look, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call Spencer ahead of time and apologize. No, you'll tip her off. About what? What did you do? You wanna see what's in my suitcase? Here. Have at it. Although, be careful where you spend it. She's probably scrambling right now to get find some sort of an explanation. You well, know, after Katie's visit to the cops, we could be scrambling too. Why? Because if Spencer links us to her suitcase, then we could end up in handcuffs. And it'll be her worries against ours. Yes. Why couldn't you let me keep at least a grand or two? Of stolen money? Yeah. That money could belong to the Bob or, or some drug lord well, or... you watch too much TV, you know? Well, I think it is rewarding enough that we are saving our friend. Yeah. But nothing says thank you like cash. Mm. Fake money. I mean, it's really obvious. Fake money. Where did this come from? Like your friends didn't tell you? This is obviously a huge misunderstanding. I believed you when you said you had nothing to do with them being in my room. I never told them to do anything. Oh, but they told you, didn't they? All about my big bad suitcase under my bed. Well, here's the big bad truth. It's a present from my 10-year-old nephew in Arizona. Your nephew? He's autistic. He loves to count money. He can do it for hours. What else do you want to know? All the numbers of my high school friends, where I grew up, you want to call my nephew and find out if he's really autistic? I'm, so, I'm sorry. Why should you be sorry? I'm not one stupid enough to think that we were friends. I didn't know that you thought that I was a criminal. No, I never said that. That's the way I felt when that woman cop came to question me. What? What did I do to make you hate me so much? I don't. I don't hate you. Then why did you tell your friends to spy on me and call the police? I don't know what to say, except, again, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I'm not as sorry as I am. Questioner. How could you do that? A healthy weight is more than just how you look. Studies suggest the nutrients in three glasses of low-fat or fat-free milk a day can help you maintain a healthy weight. And the protein helps build muscle for a lean body. Milk your diet. For more, visit whymilk.com. Oh, tender chunks of beef, red skin potatoes. Do we have a rich uncle I don't know about? Actually, it was only about a buck fifty. To rouse someone from a state of shock, consider the invigorating effects of a cold beverage. New Banquet Select Recipes. So good for so little. Arthritis doesn't know when to quit. It shows up early and stays late. Tylenol Arthritis works with your body to block pain fast, with one layer that dissolves quickly and another that gives you time-released relief all day. So you not only feel better, you feel better knowing Tylenol works as hard as your arthritis. Public restrooms are disgusting and can be infested with germs. But what about your toilet at home? It could be infested with up to 3 million bacteria per square inch. With regular cleaners, you're not reaching germs under the rim. So use Lysol Toilet Bowl Cleaner every time you clean. Lysol kills more than 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. Lysol. Disinfect to protect. Also try Lysol 4-in-1 Bathroom Cleaner. The best clean on soap scum. This year, Walmart has everything you need for Halloween. Candy, decorations, and of course, costumes. All the characters you want, all at unbeatable prices. Halloween in one easy stop. That's a treat. Save money, live better. Walmart.
alone has saved countless lives. But in his next case... I think you're concealing something that would help us find your son. I'm not concealing anything. He'll have to save an entire family. Do whatever you want and you don't care who you hurt. We all found out. Found out what? Without a trace. New episode CBS Tuesday. I didn't know that money was fake. I never saw it. But I can't believe that Henry of all... This is not about no, no, Henry. No, this, is about, uh, this is about us. What do you mean? You know, I mean, why are you trying so hard to get me not to trust Spencer? Because you don't want me to succeed without you? Are you serious? I wish I weren't. You really think that I'm trying to sabotage no, I, you? you no, know, you know what? I'll tell you what I think. I think that, I think that, you know, you're resentful of the attention I'm getting from this new show. I'm the one giving you all the attention. I've been your number one cheerleader since yeah. the, the day it started. Yes, 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 until you saw Spencer take your place in Oakdale now. Just one time. And since then, it's like you've been letting Vienna fill your head with all this paranoid garbage until I don't even know who you are anymore. Don't say Listen, that. Did I, did I do this? Seriously, did I do this? I mean, did I just mess up so bad with this Leo thing that you just don't trust my judgment this anymore? This has nothing to do with that. And I swear, I am fine with you doing another show. What do I do? What can I, what can I do to make this better? I want you to call off Henry and Vienna again. But this time, make a stick. Relentless. You know that runs in your family? Yeah, I just need a few minutes. Well, I don't have any time. Make some. Excuse me? Look, I know you don't like me, but that doesn't change the fact that I am the best candidate you've got for this profiler position. <laughs> I'm busy. That's funny. I could have said the same thing to your sister when she came into the precinct earlier, all upset. But when Katie was here? Why? Um, it turned out to be nothing in the end, but you weren't here, Well, so. what, 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 what did she want? What did I, she, she needed help. No one was volunteering. Wait, how did I you help her? How? Did you impersonate an officer? Oh, you didn't. No, I didn't actually say I was a cop. I just went and talked to someone for her. Damn. Who? Um, this woman who Katie thought had stolen money in her possession, but she didn't. So, so you conducted your own personal little um, interrogation, unauthorized? Yeah, 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 and I saved you about an hour of work that would have been a complete waste of time for you, and your sister was damn grateful. Does that count for anything? Me. I went to the police and I turned in my husband's co-star for having a suitcase full of... Play money. That was not play money. Did you even look at it? I wanted to bathe in it, remember? I didn't know what you saw. Uh, it's the same thing you saw. Stacks and stacks of bills in a suitcase, all fake. No, no, then it wasn't the, it was not the same thing, Katie, okay? I touched it, I smelled it, I, I, I puckered up and kissed it, for God's sake. I was even jealous of it. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I know real Franklins when I see them. Then how do you explain the fake ones that Spencer showed us? <laughs> It's, it's, it's simple. Somewhere between the time that we found the suitcase and Spencer showed it to you, someone made a switch. Been pretty quiet since I made my big speech. <sighs> Lot to think about. You're not mad, are you? Jenny, you gotta stop doing that. What? Stop worrying that people are mad at you because you stick up for yourself. No, for the record, I am not. I am not mad. I respect you. Thanks, Jack. Hmm. Yeah, we still have a problem, though. We do? Yeah, you see, I have this surprise, and I've got nowhere to invite it. <laughs> you sure you don't want to rethink it like mm. Oh, actually, Marco said that you have to be up at work first thing early tomorrow morning, so I think I'll take a rain check. Mm. Yeah. Okay. You got it. Okay. I understand you wanted to protect yourself, but there has got to be, there's got to be a way you can do that and we can still move in together. Maybe there is. You want to clue me in? I'll let you figure that out, big boy.
on the next As the World Turns. Say hello to your new opponent. See what Kevin and his crew are up to. You mean be a spy? I care about your mom a lot. Enough to promise forever. I may never be ready to give Jack up entirely. Jack, what are you doing? If you close your mouth for 30 seconds, you might just find out. Shrink my wrinkles? Now I can. With L'Oreal's new Revitalift Anti-Wrinkle Concentrate, it's clinical action and a daily serum that shrinks my wrinkles, even in those difficult spots. My skin looks better every day. New Revitalift Anti-Wrinkle Concentrate by L'Oreal. New Bounce Awakenings let you enjoy renewed freshness throughout your day. They're a new dryer sheet infused with scent beads that gently burst as you move, renewing the freshness of your clothes throughout the day. Awaken ordinary moments with new Bounce Awakenings. for longer hair but get stopped by all the breakage now there's a new way to make long hair happen only from pantene comes new beautiful lengths the aquacurrent pro v formula makes damaged hair stronger up to 10 times stronger against breakage grow your hair longer and stronger new beautiful lengths shampoo and conditioner a part of proceeds helps give real hair wigs to women with cancer pantene can you imagine getting arrested in your own home? With Helmet Heroes from Play School, he's steering the action. High speed chase in progress. Real Mike. Roger. Sounds. Lights. Everything your little hero needs for real adventure. Helmet Heroes police officer, new from Play School. For me, white teeth are a job requirement, but I want my teeth to be white and healthy. So I upgraded to Colgate Total Advanced Whitening. We upgraded, adding advanced whitening technology to the 12-hour germ fighting of Colgate Total. Upgrade to the healthier side of whitening. Hi, I'm Marie Osmond, and I'm losing it. Pounds. <laughs> I thought I'd never get back into these jeans. 40 pounds, gone. You can make it happen, too. Now you can do what Marie did and lose weight on Nutrisystem. There's no counting, no measuring, ever. So easy. Just eat and eat. Mm, now this, I can handle. Nutrisystem will help you change your life. Just order Nutrisystem Advance today to get four weeks of delicious meals and discover how you can get one extra week absolutely free. The foods are great. Pizza, pasta, burgers, even chocolate. For less than $3 a meal, you can start getting real results and love the way you look. I feel 20 years younger. Get up, try Nutrisystem. It worked for me, and it will work for you. Call now, 888-721-THIN, to find out how you can get one extra week of food absolutely free. CBS Thursday. I've been appointed by the FBI to investigate crimes and crises of a scientific nature. If you love a good mystery, see why critics say the new series 11th Hour. You know what's in this? Licorice goodness. Will keep you guessing until the very last second. Insects. New episode, CBS Thursday. For me, the American dream began in a room like this. My family didn't have much money, but education made everything possible. I'm Barack Obama, and I want all...